this is Carrie with, from the Edwardsville YMCA. I'm a part of the rec sports team and a private volleyball lesson instructor. I'm here with your weekly at home volleyball drills. Today we're going to focus on some more setting drills. Remember, for a good set, you want to draw your hands to your forehead. You're going to catch the ball for the set just slightly above your forehead. Your wrists will be back, your thumbs pointing your, to your forehead, your fingers and thumbs will be in a triangle formation. And when you push through the ball, you want to have flat arms and your hands flat. For the first set of drills, you will be lying down. For the first drill of this progression, you will need a partner. The partner will stand just above your head, holding the ball right over your hands. The partner will drop the ball directly into your hands. Your hands will be in ready position right above your forehead. The purpose of the drill is to develop patience. You want to wait for the ball to get all the way to your hands before you push through. Like in a set, you will want to wait for the ball to get almost all the way to your forehead. You will know if it is a good rep if the ball goes straight back up into your partner's hands. You will want to do 10 of these. Second drill in this progression, you can do just about anywhere, laying in your bed, laying outside, or on the floor in your house. Lying on your back, you will have your hands in the ready position with the ball in it. When you're ready to start, you'll start repeatedly setting the ball. You can do short sets, you can do high sets, you can do short then high, short then high, and you'll want to see how many you can get in a row. The second progression of drills works on core and leg strengthening while having control over your set. For the first drill in this progression, you will do a wall sit. A wall sit, you will need a wall that you can lean up against. You will want to have your knees bent at 90 degrees and you will have your legs like a tabletop. You will draw your hands into the setting position and then you will repeatedly set the ball. You can do short sets or you can do high sets. You can either time your wall sit for a minute or try to get 50 sets in a row. For the second progression in this drill, you will need a wall that you can bounce the ball off of. You will lay about one foot away from the wall with your head facing the wall. You want to engage your core and have your feet and legs off the ground and your chest off of the ground. Place the ball in the ready position at your forehead and repeatedly bounce it off the wall. This will use just your wrist to push the ball and bounce it off the wall. Try to get 20 sets in a row. The next drill will work on setting to a target. You will need a basketball hoop, but if you don't have a basketball hoop, you can use any sort of basket or hoop that you can aim at. You will stand directly in front of the basket with your right foot slightly in front of your left foot and your knees bent. Start about two feet away from the basket. When you make five, take two steps back. When you make five more, take two more steps back and so on. Be sure to freeze your set at the finish to make sure you have flat arms and flat hands facing your target. You will know you have a good rep if it is a swish into the basket. The last drill is kind of tricky and takes a lot of practice, but it is something to work towards. You will want to go from standing to sitting to standing while setting the whole time. You will want to use nice, steady, short sets you will start in the standing position and start setting. Once you have nice control, begin lowering yourself to the ground. The key is to go slow and steady. Thank you for watching and remember, hard work always pays off.